I think the start of my journey was really just being a creative kid and um, always knowing that I loved art and design and I bright colors always made me happy. I always loved to paint and draw and that sort of thing. So I had an inkling I was going to go into a creative field. So it started out very casually. And at the time, along with blogging, I was working as um, an art director, a design writer. I was writing for Art and Culture Mags and, and doing things like that. And and really every day was very different. I had a myriad of different clients who I was helping um, design a shop or I was designing their home or I was designing business cards or websites. I was sort of doing anything and everything creative that I could get my hands on. And little by little, as my platform started to grow and my blog started to grow, um, I was actually at a flea market and I love flea markets and vintage finds. And someone looked at me and said, oh, I know you, you're the jungle lady. Oh. Like, I'm the jungle lady, okay, I love like that. Yeah. <laughs> and so um, I sort of just harnessed that and thought, you know what, I think this can be more than a blog. I think this can be a brand. And so from there, I just started doubling down on my own blog and my own brand and started bringing people onto my team. And little by little, um, Jungalo grew into what it is today. This is such a tough question because I really am proud of so many things. Um, but I think, um, you know, I have three books out, The New Bohemians, The New Bohemians Handbook, and last year we released Jungle O Decorate Wild. And I think my books are probably the thing I'm the most proud of because I feel like it really encapsulates all of the things that um, I love to do um, from design to photography to um, you know pulling something together that's just inspiring but also kind of a teachable moment and and so I would probably say my books if I if I really had to pick something. Jungle really is is um, it's an embodiment of my personal style which is layered and collected and lush and colorful and full of personal stories and narratives and um, drawing inspiration from my own heritage, from my travels, from the people I've met along the way. So it's a very lush and storied uh, look. And, and, and I think um, above all, it, it really is about um, taking the creativity that you have on the inside and expressing that in your home and expressing that through your design work. So um, it's sort of as though the home is a wet canvas for exploration and for really just expressing yourself. And, and that can mean different things to different people, but, but Junglo exists to help folks bring good vibes home. And in doing so, um, that means different things for different people. So um, for me, what it means is color, is pattern, is plants, is jungle vibes, is this sort of exotic and, and, and lush lifestyle. Um, but it could mean different things to different people. Tell them to dig in a little bit and really try and understand what their own point of view is stylistically. What lights you up? What do you absolutely love? Um, I think it's that passion that really becomes the fertilizer to be able to um, grow a seed of, of creativity or something like that in, into a, a, a lush plant that can thrive. Um, and so for me, it, it, it really all started just in my own home. And I think if you're on a journey, um, design home is such a, a great way to kind of practice and have fun and learn about layout and scale and things like that as you're kind of digging in and playing around. And then you can bring that into your own home. And I mean, really my journey as a designer started by just creating cool little vignettes in my own home and photographing them. You can start so small and you can just transform your own home and you can share that on social media and express that in different places. And as you get more comfortable with your own style and as you sort of 
you know, really start to get lit about it. And you start doing friends and family and take more pictures. And I really recommend documenting the process along the way because you can document your your growth and and and, and you can start to notice um, the different elements that sort of tie your personal style together. So like I said, for me, it's color, it's pattern, and it's plants. It might be um, completely different things for you, but in, in just practicing, um, whether it's in your own home or in homes of friends and family, you start to pinpoint what it is that um, is your signature style, and then you can start to develop it and grow it. Oh, okay, so <laughs> natural light in a space is so, so important. And I think oftentimes um, there are ways to amplify natural light in the home that can really do wonders to just, again, changing the energy in a space. So one thing I always recommend people to do, especially around spring cleaning time, is this is so basic, but it does wonders. Clean your windows. Clean your windows. And it's amazing sometimes, you know, over the year, film can build up on both sides and when you clean them off and all of a sudden you feel how the sun hits you different and so that's the first little tip you can also use mirrors to amplify natural light in a space if you feel like your home doesn't have enough natural light and you want to add more light and more warmth a really easy way to do that is to take mirrors and to position them opposite uh, windows or glass doors to really be able to amplify the light in the space and then once you have enough light do yourself a favor and get some more house plants i think house plants are the easiest and most affordable way to completely transform your space instantaneously and it's also scientifically proven that house plants can really uh add to the health benefits of your home. So they help clean the air and caring for plants is sort of a symbiotic relationship that's actually really good for your well-being as well. So it won't just beautify your space, but it'll make it more healthy and, and just um, really switch up the vibe. Um, I think it's really important to um, democratize design. I truly believe we're all creative. I believe that we all can make our homes be beautiful, be a wonderful place to support our families and grow together. And so I love Design Home as a way to exercise this creativity and to give you ideas about how to make your own home be a place that you really wanna live and thrive in. And, and so for me, it really is about the messaging, we can all be creative, we can all create things that are beautiful.